Hey guys, welcome to another server miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we look at the teleportation token plugin. So as the name would suggest, this means that when you teleport you require one of these tokens and in order to craft it you need all of these ingredients. So we're going to jump straight into it, into the crafting bench. You need one ender pearl in the middle, one diamond up above, one quartz down below, and then two copper up at the top, two amethyst in the middle, and then two redstone at the bottom. This will give you three tokens, now you can customize this and there's also a resource pack which I'll show you a little bit later to make it look a little bit cooler. But let's get into the commands, so if we do forward slash tpr followed by someone's name that will allow us to request a teleport to someone else but obviously no one else is online. Then we can do forward slash tpr list to show any outgoing requests that we've done. And then we can do forward slash tpa list to see all of the ones that we have been sent. Now we can do forward slash tpa and another player and that will accept their request. And then you can also click in chat to show a list of them. And then tpx is going to deny the request if someone teleports to you. Now we can do forward slash tph list and that's going to show you your teleport homes. And then you can click in chat to either teleport or remove them. So if I click it's going to take one of the tokens out of my inventory. And if I click again, it's going to take us to the next home, and now I've only got one left. And then if you do forward slash tpsh, that's going to set a home, and then I'm going to call it server miner. And then if we go ahead and do forward slash tph list, that's going to list the new one, and we can teleport to it. And then if we try and teleport to any others, we are out of tokens, and we would have to craft more. Then we could do forward slash tprm, and that's also going to be able to remove one rather than clicking in chat. And as you can see, I've only got a few left now that I have removed them. So you can see how easy this plugin is to use. It's a really cool idea having to craft a pretty difficult item in order to teleport. But let's head over to the config file and see what we can do in there. So here we are in the smpitnik control panel and there is a single config.yml we want to go into. And up at the top what we have is the crafting recipe. Now you can see each letter corresponds to a location in the bench. And what you can do, you can change any of these items to make it either easier or harder for your players to craft. Now what we could do is simply replace a couple with diamonds to make it a little bit easier for players. And then down here we can change the amount that the crafting bench gives you to 4. And then below that we can enable it to download the default resource pack which I'll show you in a little bit. So set that to 1 as yes. And then right at the bottom we've got a little bit of information about the token itself such as the material, the resource pack it uses. And then finally right at the bottom do you want players to get free tokens when they're new, yes or no, and then how many, so 10. So if I jump back in game real quick and reload the server we should be able to see what the resource pack looks like. So now we have a pretty cool item as the token. I really like the look of it and would recommend using the resource pack with it. So here we are on the speaker page, you can see it's updated for 1.17 to 1.20. There's loads of good information and images on this page. And if you need any help, contact the developer. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.